What's going on guys? It's Jeff Farina from Jeff.TV here with November 2013's edition of The Birch Box for Men. I've had it since, today's Monday, uh, the 4th of November. I've had it since Friday, the 1st of November. I've just been so busy I haven't had a chance to make this video. So, as you can see, it's the typical box that you get in the mail. Digging right into it here. So, more is good, gentlemen. All that good stuff. I'm just going to skip past it and go new this month. Birchbox Mobile has arrived for the iPhone. Come on, guys. Let's get an Android app going. But as you can see here, November 2013. I'll get some homemade pizza, looks like. Drinking some wine. Maybe that's the theme. We're about to find out. So I guess we'll just go through this list here very quickly. Uh, we have some cologne. Mistral Patchouli. I'm not a patchouli guy. For women, at least. But we'll see how this does smell. Uh, complex aroma blend with notes of grapefruit, black pepper, and musky Indonesian patchouli. Dab onto wrist and neck. Prepare for an onslaught of positive attention. Billy Jealousy. Actually, you know what? I'll go through these. I'll read these as I pick the stuff out. Easier that way. I think it's the format I've been following. So, actually, first thing I just noticed, or first thing I just saw when I opened this up, was the Billy Jealousy uh, Sake Bomb. Sake Bomb. So, I use Billy Jealousy shave balm and it's amazing so this is as you can see here sake bomb is a moisturizer so the full size is 36 dollars the full size is probably uh, a good six to eight inches long it's it's tall i should say it's a, it's a good size bottle that i use for the shave bomb and it's probably very similar to that so a sake scented blend of coconut i don't even know what that is Manoy de tahiti oils and vitamin e so it says to slather generously on dry limbs to keep them healthy and flake free now, it's wintertime here in New England, here in the Boston area. This will probably, as dumb as it sounds, be good for even just my hands, my knuckles, uh, and my face. My knuckles tend to split and bleed pretty pretty badly when it's cold, so it might be good for that. And uh, face as well, why not? The second thing I grabbed was this Global Citizen Travel Candle. You can see here it's made in the U.S., and it's the Cypress Fig Scent. So it says, to pre prevent fire, never leave burning candles... Man, while you're sleeping or around children, that sort of thing. Now, what this says here is a Paulus Transit Issue Travel Candle. So a full-size candle is $30. This is probably a smaller size, you know, not a big deal. Uh, Cypress and Fig Scented Soy Wax Candle and a portable jar. Uh, how to toss in your overnight bag for receivable old factory home away from home. So that's pretty, it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, more good bonus. There you go actually gives you so polis builds long-term mutually beneficial manufacturing partnerships all over the globe let's take a look here this might even be i mean this might even be the full size to be honest because for a travel candle i wouldn't imagine a, a huge candle so this might actually be the full size candle it actually you know what it looks like it is 30 dollars right here. it doesn't actually say see how these all say full size full size this does not, so this is the big item this month, is this Global Citizen candle. Opens right up. As you can see, there's the wick. I'm going to give it a sniff. Smells pretty good. Not bad at all. I, you know, if only you had smell of vision but uh, pretty good. I'll, I'm going to be using this in my office down here. In my office, probably at work, I might even bring it both places. Why not? I don't really travel very much for work, so that's probably what I'll do. Next up. There's two things in here that are. So first, we'll go with this vitamin and C shaving cream. Okay. There you see right there, full size is 36. Nourishing cream that preps and soothes the skin with almond oil, aloe vera, and vitamin E. Wet face, then apply a thin layer and shave with the grain. So again, I use the Billy Jealousy. But I'll give this a try. It's a little small size. I'm always up for trying something new, especially, you know, you never know. This might be something that makes your skin feel better. Next up, we have conditioning shampoo. And I think this was the towel dry. It is. There we go. Towel dry. Toweldrymen.com, as you can see. So conditioning shampoo, smooth formula for thicker curly hair that pulls double duty as a shampoo and conditioner. Tells you how to use <laughs> conditioning shampoo, which is something we've been doing forever. Full size of this is $16, so it's not crazy for a shampoo. Uh, I'll give this a try, too. See how it's going. I have to say, honestly, everything that I've been using from Birchbox, I've liked. I've liked it all. So 
This patchouli might be different, might be the one exception, but everything you've seen me unbox for the past two or three months, I have been using it all and I have liked it all, so I can't complain there. Now here's the last but not least, the cologne. Comes in, this is like a wax paper bag. It's very old fashioned, pretty cool. And it's like a postcard with it. It's not attached to the postcard. It's actually, it feels like a sticker, but it looks like a postcard, everything that goes in here. Even this thing smells because it's been in the bag with it. So the bag keeps the scent inside the bag, that's for sure. And just comes in a vial, as you can see here. You would just It's a dab vial, so you'd open that up and dab it on yourself. It's very earthy. I mean, it's patchouli, of course, so that would mean it is earthy, but I can tell you right now, it's definitely very, very earthy. Very root-y, if that's even a word. Uh, so I'll, I'll try it out. We'll see what people think. I'll definitely give it a try, see if it's something I want to switch to or just add to my assortment that I use. So here are all the products. Again, we have some cologne, uh, we have some moisturizer, we have some shampoo, conditioning shampoo, we have some shave cream, and then the travel candle. I'm pretty pumped about this candle. Uh, last month was that V-neck workout t-shirt, which I liked, still do like. It's a little too big. Uh, if that's a large, I should have gone for a medium, but so what? So I'll definitely give this some use till they're up to the top as you can see here. So I'll probably bring this thing halfway down by the time I do my next video. Maybe I'll give you some feedback on how I feel about the candle or whatever else uh, it came with. And they always give you little selects. So here we go, the Movember team. It's kind of funny, it's Movember team. You're not supposed to shave, but then we have some shaving things here. Actually, you know what though? This can be considered keeping the beard from being too bad, keeping it in check. So here you go. Now Pro Rosso, that stuck out to me immediately. This stuck out to me immediately. I use the Pro Rosso pre-shave balm, and I absolutely stand by it. It's what the Italians use. If the Italians use it, it's got to be good, right? So this was November 2013's Birchbox Men unboxing. For everyone who's been giving me feedback so far, I really appreciate it. Your feedback is, is fantastic. Your compliments, your comments, whatever it may be, they're all fantastic. So keep them coming. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you want me to maybe do a little more, more materials, something else you can think of, definitely let me know and I'll try and incorporate that with future videos. Maybe revisit some of the past items and see, you know, if I'm liking them, which ones I've bought in the full size version of, etc, etc. So, as always, thank you very much for watching everyone.